Um, okay, Ellie, your turn to do another review if you have one. I can't remember if you had more than I one last time. I think I did, time. but I don't remember what they were. So, no. No, I refuse. All right. All right. Uh, Becky, back to you then. Um, I, I also saw my favourite film of 2019 so far. Okay. But it wasn't the same as your one. Okay. Um, there's a film on Netflix called Someone Great. Yeah. And I saw on Twitter somebody said, why aren't more people talking about Someone Great? And I was like, well, I've never heard of it. And so I went and looked it up and watched it one slightly delicate Sunday afternoon after the night before. Yeah. Um, and like a bit similar to what you were saying, really, like laughed all the way through it, like proper laugh out loud moments. Um, it's again about a central friendship, but this time it's three women in New York and they're like late 20s, early 30s. Mm-hmm. Um, and the main woman is played by, and I can't remember her name. But I've just she... got the name up. Uh, Brittany Snow, is it? No, she. That's, no. she's not the <laughs> uh, main one. Gina Rodriguez? Gina Rodriguez, who plays Jane the Virgin, which I haven't seen, but is like a comedy yeah. thing. So she has just landed like her dream job. But it means that she has to move city and her long-term boyfriend breaks up with her because he doesn't want to do long distance. And she's got these two best friends, one played by Brittany Snow, who is Chloe from Pitch Perfect. And um, a th- the third woman, who again, whose name I don't know, but she plays, again on Netflix, um, Spike Lee remade She's Got a Habit as like a, like a mini-series. Yeah. Um and she played the lead in that. Okay. Um so like three really strong central performances. They've got amazing chemistry. Um it was the first film. So when like when I was a teenager, there were quite a few teenage girl films about. So even though it wasn't necessarily specifically reflecting like my life in Surrey, um things like Clueless and The Craft and um, Heather's oh, the craft is a great film. Oh, the craft um, you know you're sort of as a teenager you're watching these other people in like high school secondary school and there are elements of their lives like losing their virginity or falling in love for the first time or like getting in trouble with their parents um, stuff like that that um, you you know you can kind of relate to and I haven't had yeah. that experience since being a teenager of watching something that I felt that was like reflecting back kind of aspects of my life and the types of friendships that I have and the types of like things that I do on the weekend when I need to blow off steam or whatever um and it just made my heart swell and it was brilliant I fucking loved it it's so funny the soundtrack absolutely bangs as well um yeah, it's just great. Highly, highly recommended. Four and a half stars out of five. Fair. So I hadn't heard of this until you uh, mentioned it last time. Yeah. Uh, and then I watched an interview with Taylor Swift on Ellen. And she also was saying this was her favourite film that she's seen lately. Wow. So. Do we respect go. Taylor Swift's opinion on these matters? I love Taylor Swift. Great. We okay, do cool. love Taylor Swift on this podcast. Cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know what her film taste is generally like, but she like this. Well, she so, and me, we agree on this exactly. one. Exactly. <laughs> it's the second time now I've heard high praise for this. <laughs> yeah, highly recommended. And it's it's like it's a really easy watch yeah. as well. Like I say, I sort of you know Saturday afternoon, bung it on. Looks good, sounds good. It's really fun. Just yeah, I loved it. Fair enough. 